Good morning, everybody. It's just after 9 a.m. Sunday, August 7th. We're taking that job for a walk. Not, not Bob, the dog. Um, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be high 90s, low 100s today. So despite the leak, we'll probably have to turn the air conditioner on. The kids are gonna come over later and we're gonna do a belated birthday dinner with them for my birthday. And in the meantime, we're gonna do this. At some point today, we have to probably go grocery shopping because we're running low on stuff. And, oh, you know, it's my family. So there's a never ending extended family drama, but we won't go there on YouTube. Anyway, lots of stuff to do, but we're gonna start the morning off doing some self care, and going for a walk and getting our exercise and some sunshine before it's too much sunshine. And uh, I'll be back. Is it still morning? It's still morning, 11.31 a.m. It is Monday, August 8th. And yeah, anyway, I got the video edited. It's saving for the vlog last week. I got that plants out back watered, dishes done. Um, called the post office about our mail hold that should have been released on Saturday and some of the mail's missing. So hopefully that shows up today. Um, and I also rescheduled my counseling appointment so that I can drive up to my dad's on Wednesday and go um, with him to the doctor's at his request, by the way. I'm not just barging my way in. So anyway, um, despite what some of my siblings may think. But anyway, it's a whole different conversation and probably not for YouTube. Uh, anyway, um, so I am going to... Uh, work on getting the vlog saved and posted, uh, scheduled out on YouTube, and I need to do some social media posts. I also make it, need to make a list of what my dad's symptoms were so that I can uh, make sure that we review everything we need to at the doctor's. And um, yeah, I've got a list of stuff that I want to do this week. So, um, and or today. Obviously I'm in the car. I wasn't planning on leaving the house today since I literally have to be out of the house almost all of Wednesday, but we put our mail delivery on hold while we were gone, which I don't know about other countries because I've never lived there, but we can do here in the U.S. And the idea is that the, ma the post office will hold all your mail and they'll deliver it on the day you designate um, after you get back. So anyway, and there's a kind of an important box in the mail and it still says it's being held. I don't know where it's being held, but I don't have it. And nobody answers the phone. So I'm gonna, I need to check the PO box anyway, because it's been almost two weeks. So I'm gonna just go down there and see if I can speak to somebody, maybe. And hope they have my box and other mail. I guess we'll find out. I'll be back. Got the mail. Yay. Including this. Are you all ready? Let me cover up my... Recognize, recognize that? I've just got off work. It's about six o'clock. This is the first time in about three weeks, I think, that it has only been 83 degrees outside and that when he gets off of work, we can actually go walking. Yeah. Cause that's been a thing. Speaking of which, he's gonna start his, his thing to track how fast we're walking. Anyway, so we're gonna go for a walk before dinner and yeah, it'll be good. Nice, bright, sunny day, but not too warm. Love it. I'll that's be in the neighborhood that paint rocks and leave them out. Somebody in the neighborhood does little like rock sculptures and spells out names of the local dogs like Betty and Gypsy and stuff like that. Done Hang on. One and spelled out Mac flowers. The funny thing about this one is you see that rainbow? Yeah, I painted that. They must have picked it up and then they used it in this sculpture. I love that. All right, let's see what else we can see. Cool. It is Tuesday morning, August 9th. 
I think I've lost track of a day here and there. I don't even know yesterday what day I said it was, but it was Monday the 8th. Um, anyway, obviously I'm dressed and stuff. We're, I'm not leaving the house today. Um, but I need to come out back here and water my plants before it gets any warmer. And check on things. The blackberries, those vine, that right there, are coming over the fence again. Hold on. See that big giant vine right there? Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to see if I can get Bob to do some trimming this weekend. Um, it'd be one thing if they actually had berries on the end, but they don't. They just have big giant thorns. Yeah. Anyway, so we are going to, um, it's so funny. So I had a friend years ago who passed away. She was the mother of another friend of mine and she had this rock on her front porch. She was like a crotchety, creative, well, crotchety old lady. She was sweet, but anyway, she had the go away rock and I'd forgotten that we brought it with us when we moved and there it is right there. I forgot all about it. There it is. <laughs> Thank you, Verna May, for showing up this morning. Anyway, um, we're going to water some plants this morning and check on everything. And then I'm going to go try to catch up on my sketchbook. I only got two drawings done yesterday because I had to make a trip to the post office to get my mail that they were still holding on to, even though they should have not. Anyway. Let's get to watering. I'll be back. when you forget the key. But, you know, the color sketchbook, that's all done. Working on a couple more things with our Fomies people. So I got that done. Uh, checked on the YouTube channel, social media, all that stuff. But the rest of the afternoon, my goal is to do today's daily drawings but also just catch up on my soap opera. Big uh, secret, or not so big a secret. I am a General Hospital fan from way back when, when it was still in black and white. I know. Anyway, we're gonna check the mail and then get to it. It's not too hot today, at least not yet. So hopefully we'll be able to go walking again, but we'll see. Tomorrow's the big day where we have to do all the driving, so. You know, that'll be fun. Not, I'll be Went back. out walking without me because I already did some yard work and stuff today, AKA that was my exercise for the day and got hot and sweaty once. And yeah, had to change my clothes. So I really didn't want to do it twice. Mm -hmm. um, and we're supposed to get thunder and lightning for a couple hours tonight and maybe some rain. The rain is good, the thunder and lightning, maybe not so much. Yeah, anyway, when Bob gets back, we'll make some iced coffee. And yeah, anyway. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's the weirdest weather this year, but I don't know why I'm surprised it's COVID, you know? I will say the sky is a bunch of pretty colors. Hang on. I mean, I don't know about you, but that's pretty. I love it. You guys hear that? I didn't really believe it was going to happen when it was on our weather report, but it's raining outside. 
morning, everybody. It is 9.23, yeah, 9.23 a.m. Make a use. It's 9.23 a.m. on Wednesday, August 10th. I am headed two hours north to take my dad to the doctor, or go with him to the doctor. Um, at his request, I'm not barging my way in. Um, he, I, he's getting older and he's, you know, yeah, anyway. And you'll know if you watched last week's vlog, he got sick while at my sister's and I think it scared him into hopefully taking better care of himself. And uh, anyway, he wants one of us to go there and make sure he doesn't forget to say anything and uh, regarding his symptoms and illness and, and all that stuff, so. Hey guys, so obviously we're out walking. Obviously? Obvi it, obviously. Is it obvious? See? We're out walking. Um, got home from dad's, had a little bit to eat because up until that point I hadn't had much to eat today. Feel much better. Sat and watched a couple of videos. We're gonna go get some steps in now. Get some much needed exercise before the weather makes another ugly turn. Because next week is supposed to be gross again. Let's hope they fix our leaky air conditioner soon. I'll be back. Everybody. It's 10.34 a.m. Thursday, August 11th. Um, working on a project upstairs. I think I hear gardeners outside. Not at our house, community gardeners trimming bushes and cleaning up their mess that they left yesterday that I complained about because I'm Mrs. Kravitz. And if you're too young to get that reference, I'm sorry, but you should look up the old TV show Bewitched. Like, yeah. Anyway, I'm Mrs. Kravitz. Hold on. It's getting there. You guys, it's 1.09 p.m. and I think it's time to stop for lunch. <laughs> um, I got some more work done on this. I love where this is going, by the way. Um, it's not done. I need to bring out the rocks some more. I need to probably, I have an idea for like some focal colors, like right in here in the middle. First, I have to bring the rock, the this part back, because it's, faded from these colors anyway that's coming along nicely yes it will be for sale the rolling hills are still for sale i'll put a picture of it here if you're interested let me know private message me um they're both going to be about 135 plus shipping anyway i also filmed the next artsy trio i filmed a couple of um playing with art foamies um, so i redesigned we redesigned the celebration stamp, which is the three women together. Um, their hair was really hard to cut. And so, um, but at the same time, it's a really good seller. So we decided to redesign it. And this is the new one, which I love. I love, I think I like it better without the hair. You could put <clears throat> abstract designs behind the heads for hair. You could put flowers behind the hair. You could do just about anything. Um, Turn the camera off. I also came out with some new designs, some of which were prior stencil designs, and um, I have limited stock on those. I won't be making any more for the foreseeable future. You can get them in the Etsy shop um, if they're still available. The shop is linked down below. Anyway, as is the Art Foamy shop, so go shop over there. It's a mom and pop made in the USA company. So go check it out. Lots of really great designers over there. I have lots of art foamies, not just mine. Fun fact. Um, anyway, new designs. First we have this one. And then we have ones that I've used already that are wet. We have this one. We have this one. I don't know what the names are at the moment. Um, <clears throat> but I'll try to 
you know, put something like here. Um, if I know, if there's no name, it's because I don't know yet. But go again, go to Art Foamies. You can search by designer, search my name, Gina Aarons. It'll be probably, she does it in alphabetical order, so I'm probably right at the top. Um, we have this one. And we have this one. I have some interesting videos coming up with them. I also have an idea with them. So I've act, ad, asked for a couple of extras of them. I won't say why. It'll be coming up on my channel. I will probably be doing, um, they do a Friday night live stream for our foamies. I'll probably be joining into one or two of those. Um, I always want to join in on them in the audience and I always forget. And Friday night's our family dinner night. But when she does talk about my stamps, I'm going to try to be there. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I painted some rocks. Um, I want to do a rainbow rock stack. I know you don't get it, but they're painted and I have to do another coat on some of them, but they've got to dry first. And I will show you all probably in the vlog if I can get it done. So anyway. I think it's time to have food because that was kind of a lot. All right, I'll be back. I got Artsy Trio filmed, the next two of them. Um, I wish I could show you the October one, which is one of the ones I filmed because, oh my God, I love the way it turned out. I'm also doing this little rainbow rock sculpture thing that's drying, which I'll show you maybe tomorrow when it is dry. Um, I'm gonna just leave this sit for right now. It needs obviously more contrast down here it needs yeah it's not done yet i love where it's going but it's not done yet um anyway i am going to go downstairs i need some more water my glass is empty and sit and watch some youtube video probably finish laundry because that's like a thing it's not gonna do itself i wish it would but it's not going to Dang it. And I think the kids are going to be here tomorrow for dinner. So when Bob is off of work, I have to figure out what we're having because I might need to go to the store. If we're making the homemade pizza, I don't have enough stuff. I need naan for one thing. So, I mean, you know. I'll hey guys, it is 9.40 a.m. Friday, August 12th. I have a crap ton of video editing to do because I just got on a roll yesterday and filmed a bunch of stuff. So I need to work on that in my free time between now and Monday. But first I've got to go to the grocery store. So we're going to go get that done. I did a rubber stamp purge. I've been meaning to do it for a long time. I knew there was quite a bit of stuff up there that I wasn't using. I did do a purge well before we moved, but I knew it was time to do another one and I wasn't wrong. And I have a medium flat rate box um, for sale. And um, the information about it is down below if you're interested. It is on all of my social media. If it has sold, I'll put some here. I also have a painting for sale. That's also in social media. I'll put something down there. Um, yeah, I, hold on, I gotta, I gotta close the book because you can't see that. So I took one of my little white trees and put all my paints. These are my matte acrylic paints that I use for art journaling because they were just sitting on top of the drawer, loose. And every time I would bump something, paints would go flying off the back. <laughs> so. Now they're in a tray, so I have to bump it pretty hard to get the whole tray to go flying. So that was good. Um, what else? I am doing some things with the Etsy shop and everything in the Etsy shop right now is on sale. I know, right? So <clears throat> the link for the shop is down below. Um, digitals, artwork, stencils, rubber stamps, whatever's left. I do still have purge boxes. Um, some of them have stamps in them and, and stamp, well, I shouldn't say some, most of them have stamps and stencils in them. Look at that stack of boxes. Um, the description for what's approximately in the box is in the listing. So again, check out the Etsy shop down below. I appreciate the support. I am waiting for Art Foamies to go live and I think they're about to do that right now. So I'm going to watch their live broadcast with the, um, current new artist and the new releases 
and I'll be back. everybody. It is Saturday morning. I believe it's August 12th. It's 8.16 a.m. That's right, 8.16 a.m. We're supposed to be headed to the DEQ, otherwise known in Oregon as the Department of Environmental Quality, to get our cars smogged and registered, because they're due. Only, I guess we're making a pit stop at Cars for Coffee first, because it's... British car day? I, I don't know. So yeah, anyway, then I sold um, my rubber stamp purge very quickly. Uh, thank you to the person who bought it very much. And uh, I have to mail that out today and let her know and then delete the post. Um, I might go thrifting. So and then I have video to edit. A crap ton of video to edit. But you know, uh, mental health wise, I'm doing okay this week. Um, of course we have upcoming dental and doctor appointments in the next few weeks. And so that has me always a little nervous because medical things are one of the things that set my anxiety off, but I'm learning better how to handle the stress. So there's that. All right. That's it for the minute. At least that's all I can remember. I mean, I've had all my coffee, but you know, I'll be back. older than Subi, that car we're in, aka my Subaru. Um, anyway, which also isn't young. Anyway, they both passed. That was a lot of money, but they're done. <laughs> and um, I got the ma package mailed. I sold some rubber stamps. I got that package mailed. Thank you, Marion. It's on its way. Uh, now we're headed home because I'm starving. So I need to eat some food. I do maybe want to go garage selling or thrifting this afternoon, so we'll see, and yeah. We'll see where we go from here. I'll be back. We had food, uh, uh, lunch, and Bob finished up some chores around the house, uh, especially in the backyard. He's off getting my car washed. She's, Subi is constantly just sap covered and dirty because she parks in a driveway. Um, so he's off getting that cleaned and then that'll get the dirt off, won't get the sap off. When he gets back, he'll get the sap off. We still haven't been like thrifting or doing anything else today, which I kind of want to do, but then I kind of also, I'm just like not. <laughs> I'm just really tired today. I don't know if it's a full moon or I have no idea. But anyway, I'm going to check on some stuff on the computer while he's out getting the car washed and 
We'll take it from there. I'll be back. Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday night. Let's see, 10.45 p.m. Oh, jeez. <laughs> there he is over there. He's so excited to be on camera. Can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> so while I kind of wanted to go thrifting or something today, we didn't do that. We ended up staying home. Bob worked in the yard, and then I helped him make a uh, rug for the trunk of his uh, barracuda. Yeah. And we worked up a sweat doing that, and afterwards I was like, I'm just going to go in and sit on the couch. Um, but it turned out pretty good, by the way, for two people who don't really know much about what they were doing. It actually turned out pretty good. I'll put a picture here so for y'all. Anyway, you're not that you're sure. interested, huh? Pictures. Yeah, we'll put some pictures right here. Uh, anyway, so I caught up on my drawing and I got everything done. It was a pretty good day. Cars passed the DEQ easily. There was no line, which was shocking. Like, it was a good day. It's been a good week, I think. Uh, except for having to drive to and from my dad's by myself. <laughs> but he's going to be okay, so that's all good, too. But you know, you made it. I did, yeah. And, uh, yeah, next week we'll... Be another week. Hopefully we get the air conditioner fixed and hopefully when I go to the dentist they don't find any more things that need fixing. But you know, it is what it is and we'll deal with it when it comes up. That's for next week's vlog. Anyway, I hope you guys have had a good one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the video, the video description for relevant links. If you have a question, comment, or concern, put it down below. Um, I've got Facebook groups. If you're a patron or supporter, you get early access to things. You get access to things you guys don't get on this channel because they have their private channel. I know, right? Anyway, that's it for today. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys.